Watch Dogs 2, coming straight out of Ubisoft with a new character, new location, and a new story. What does this game have in store for us? This is going to be insane for sure playing this game. There's going to be a lot of new things being added into this game and also into the franchise, seeing that the first one did not offer much, you know. I did buy the game, you know, Watch Dogs 1 on release day, and it wasn't that impressive. I felt like I was stolen from 60 bucks because of the amount of limited things you can do in the game is just ridiculous. So, I really did not like Watch Dogs 1 after I played it for a while. And I did do like around 20 missions and I'm telling you it was not that impressive. So now Ubisoft is coming back with a second one. And I think it's a little bit more better this time. And uh, with new gadgets, new hacking styles, I mean it's going to be very impressive for sure. Now you can hack vehicles. Hack every car in the game. And you can hack most of the electronics within the city. And if you can hack into the drive system of a car, you can pretty much drive it wherever you want. <laughs> So making sure that is quite of an impressive move by the developers. I'm glad they're adding more content into the game. Another impressive thing is now you have gadgets compared to Pierce where you had to hack only the cameras or only the grenades and the soldiers that you were facing. Now you can use your own equipment to uh, infiltrate bases and also infiltrate the enemy with no problem. Toys for Marcus. He has an RC jumper. He's got little wheels and he's even got this little robotic arm that he can sort of deploy and he can interact with things. He can unplug things and replug them and take out screws. That's a neat little toy. And then the other gadget he's got is this quadcopter. And it's more about scouting and being the eye in the sky. So I'm pretty much glad they're supporting more of these, uh, you know, pretty much of a stealth kind of style that you want to do. Like you don't want to kill anybody, you want to get like a perfect score on a mission or something. I'm pretty sure there's going to be scores at the end of the mission. So um, if you can do it like without killing anybody, that would be quite impressive and you can use your gadgets and everything like you just saw right now. So that's quite impressive by Ubisoft, you know, good job on doing all this. After all of this, am I still impressed for this game? I'm kind of am, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that's a step forward from Watch Dogs 1 because, you know, Watch Dogs 1 with peers, you're very limited in the things you can do in order for you to, like, attack the enemy. You can only hack uh, grenades, you can only hack some certain phones, you can only hack uh, the cameras and then uh, activate some of the, uh, you know, the power outages and that's it. That's all you can do in Watch Dogs 1. But now you can hack vehicles, equipment, uh, phones. So overall, you know, from what I see from this whole situation, they're giving us more freedom into the hacking world, hack vehicles, hack whatever you want, and you do whatever you want the way you want to do it. And, um, well, my review score for this whole situation for the reveal of Watch Dogs 2 in total, like the trailers and the gameplay, from everything I saw from being described, I would like to give this whole situation an 8 out of 10. You know, I'm glad they explained everything to us. I'm glad they're showing us, you know, the, what the gameplay, the equipment, what we're going to be expecting for the game. That's a good thing, you know, because now I can see what they're trying to work with here. And also, I saw a lot of improvement. If you guys played Watch Dogs 1, you have seen improvement. At least they're trying to put more effort this time compared to Watch Dogs 1. Watch Dogs 1 seems like so fucking vanilla compared to this one. This one, you can hack whatever you want, man. Vehicles? phones cause a mass phone outage you know whatever you want so it's gonna be a fun time for sure i still need to see more details in the multiplayer because as far as i know it's not the same thing i'm not sure what they're gonna do in the multiplayer world but i'm pretty sure as far as i know you can only do some story missions that's all i know i'll try to see if there's more information about the multiplayer so that is it guys i don't want to talk about today what do you think about Watch Dogs 2 is it a good thing a bad thing my opinion i see improvement decide what you want to be spending your time doing that can be multiplayer, that can be focusing on stories, that can be just exploring the world. Whichever activity you do, we're gonna make sure you get rewarded to get you closer to the end game.